Remember when AI was going to take over humanity? The hype was insane. Coders, designers, writers, everybody was about to be unemployed while robots took our jobs and launched hustle podcasts. But guess what? The AI bubble is bursting. Companies poured millions into AI transformations. But now the reports are rolling in and the ROI isn't there. They promised productivity, but what they got was half-baked chatbots that hallucinate invoices and code that compiles about as often as your Wi-Fi works during a Zoom call. But it's not just the results, it's the hype cycle. One year ago, AI hiring was going crazy. Companies were snatching up AI engineers like toilet paper in 2020. But now, that frenzy has died down, hiring has slowed, budgets are drying up, and the bubble looks less like the future and more like a dot-com rerun. And let's be honest, this isn't new. Tech has cycles. Remember Web3? Remember NFTs? Yeah, how's your monkey JPEG portfolio doing? AI isn't dead, but the idea that it was going to be the super intelligence that replaced every developer overnight? That was never real. But the funniest part? Juniors got gaslit into thinking they couldn't get jobs because AI took them. Nah. The real reason is the hiring bubble from COVID popped. During lockdowns, companies were hiring anyone who could spell react because it was defensive hiring, just hoarding talent. Now it's back to reality. Maybe even below reality. And this is where AI shows its cracks. Yes, it's powerful. Yes, it's useful, but it's brittle. You give it a task and it nails 90%. But that last 10%? That's everything. That's the difference between working app and stack overflow of doom. And no matter how many buzzwords the suits throw around, that last 10% still needs you, actual devs. But here's the kicker. AI companies themselves can't stop tripping over their own hype. Models keep breaking, features get ripped out, and devs building on top of these tools get blindsided. Imagine if Python suddenly removed half its standard library overnight. That's what OpenAI did when they pushed GPT-5 and broke custom GPT. If this stuff was really the flawless future, why is it held together with duct tape and patch notes? So, should you use AI? Yeah. Learn it, play with it, make it your sidekick. It's a great tool for speeding things up. But don't buy into the doomer nonsense that it's replacing all developers. AI isn't the new overlord, it's just another messy tool in the box. Here's the truth. The AI bubble is bursting, and when the dust settles, the winners won't be the hype merchants. It'll be the devs who know their fundamentals and can actually build. That's still on you. And hey, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe for more. Dev out.